You know when those alarm company advertisements say somebody is the victim of a robbery every 11 seconds? It's these guys. It's the Powells. They are, in fact, the victim of a robbery every 11 seconds because, um, me, basically. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wii Hours here, back with some more Thief Simulator. Boy, this finding a job through simulator games is a breeze. We're doing really well at the thief thing. We've got a killing in underground kitchen appliances. The toaster racket is red hot right now. But now our quest is to learn agility level two by stealing stuff. Well, how far away from that are we? Now, apparently I've already done it. That's right, I seem to recall that we leveled up in the last episode, so I've already got Agility Level 2. So Vinny should be well pleased with that. Is there anything else I could take while I'm here? Oh, right, 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 right. Backpack Level 1 we took as well. Sorry, this works on a checkpoint system, so sometimes when I'm between episodes, the game kind of backtracks a little bit to my last checkpoint rather than a save point, so I did have to kind of redo this. All right, fine. Learn Level 1 Backpack. We have no more skill points remaining. I bet Vinny's going to be on the phone when we get out of here. Yeah, no surprise. Saw that coming. What do you hey, want, Vinny? You know what else ain't broke? Right. The windshield. windshield thing. Right. Okay, yes. So we got to go break a car window because we're a little more in the protection racket than we are in the sort of, you know, thief racket. Right, let's swing over to Greenview 104 and um, see how tricky it's going to be to go smash something. I do know how to throw bricks now, so that might make it mildly easier. Now, did I actually remember to take my crowbar? I did. Excellent. Oh, no, 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 no. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't actually want to equip it. There's a guy right there that's going to look mildly suspicious. Sorry, I was just um looking at my new crowbar that I purchased from the local hardware store that's not in this neighborhood, and then I wanted to pull over and look at it here. That That's what I'm doing. I, I needed to inspect it. Okay, let's go to 104. I pulled over in the parking lot here, and 104 should be kind of right in this neighborhood here. I can't believe it took me two episodes to figure out there was a mini-map down there that tells you where the street numbers are. Hi! Yeah, I'm just, um, just wandering around. Just a pedestrian. Nothing to see here. 104 is kind of right over here. I do see there's a convenient dumpster there. Well, I like that house. Oh, that's nice. Can we get into the real estate market? Actually, we totally can in another game, but we'll do that later. Um, I, I'd like to purchase this house, frankly. I have $1,100. I don't know what houses go for in this neck of the woods, but um, you know that, that's got to be some kind of down payment, right? Okay, where exactly... I see 104. I just don't see their car. Do they... Oh, do I have to like track them and tag them, and then they come home with their car? That... Yeah, this is definitely 104. Oh... It's in the garage. Okay. Hmm. Alrighty. How am I going to get into their house? Seeing as I just learned agility level two, I bet we're going to climb these vines. Yes. Oh, I need climbing gloves. Really? I need climbing gloves to climb that? I think I can just reach it. Look, look, the little hand icon goes right up there. I can totally just reach for that. Okay. Hang on. I got to go home and buy climbing gloves. I'll be right back, everybody. I mean, I feel Vinny could have told me this before I headed over there, that there's somehow horribly difficult vines to climb and I need specific gloves to do it. But let's head over to toolsforthieves.com, climbing 1,200? 1,200 for a pair of gloves. I'm going to tell you, Vinny. I can go down to the same local hardware store that doesn't exist in that neighborhood where I bought the crowbar, and get a pair of gloves for about five bucks. And they're gonna do the job just fine. Okay, we need we need to steal some things. Well, I've come back to 113 because um we have their front door key. I can walk in their house anytime I feel like it. And I've slept overnight because we know they're gonna be gone around noon. Both of them. So um this seems like this seems like barely stealing, really. This is just sort of borrowing stuff. I mean, I've got their key. Um, while I'm waiting for them to leave, I'm just going to have a little poke at whatever this next house is. 112, right, because the numbers don't actually work the way they do in real life. Could I maybe get a tag on you? Yeah. Okay, so you guys are out in the morning, like the early morning, both of you. Okay, 
good to know. And do I see any, maybe some open windows or something I can just smash? Oh, hi, excuse me, sorry. Lovely shorts you have there. Um, all right, are these guys gone yet? No, but they're going to be momentarily. Yeah, they're, they're heading out right now. I'm going to do something completely not suspicious and just wait outside their front door. Hi, I'm, I know these people. I have their front door key. It's in my pocket. I also have the key for 109. I don't think anyone actually lives there, but they're friends of mine too. Okay, they're totally gone right now. So let's just unlock the door. Let's close the door. Let's just steal what... Oh, cash. Cash money. Yes, please. Hello, come here. Come here. Yeah, put that in my bag. Uh, gray vase. Sure, put that in my bag. Uh, nothing to see here. No, no, nothing to see here. Uh, printer. No, probably not because it's 2019 and we don't do that anymore. I do kind of want to take the TV. I'm hustling up a little bit here because they're going to be back very soon. Now, I've already stolen this router and they bought a new one. Boy, is this going to bum them out when they come home. Hey, we just bought that new router. And this one here, I'm I'm stealing this one as well. I, I know you don't have any toasters. We've kind of crossed that bridge, but I will be stealing your radio. Thank you very much. Now that I've got a slightly bigger backpack, I can take all of these things. I'm moving very, very quickly here. A flower vase. Sure, absolutely. Why not? Oh, uh, don't they have like a wine or something I can steal? Yeah, wine. Let's just get hammered here. Okay, good. Um, Microwave. Put it in my... Oh, my inventory is full. Okay, I can't take your microwave. Oh, wait, can I take that? Oh, yeah. Um, doodly doo to do doodly doo to do so, uh, Nothing to see here. I... Oh, God, they're home. They're home. They're home. They're home. They're home. Um, uh, drop the painting. Drop the painting. Run. Ru uh, running the wrong way. Running the wrong way. I've still got the painting in my hand. Uh, drop it. Drop it. I can't drop the painting. There we go. Uh, sorry. Um, I... Bye. Now, thankfully, there's a relatively convenient dumpster around here. I just couldn't figure out... Oh, God, they're trying to tase me. They're trying to tase me. This hasn't gone well at all. I shouldn't have pushed my luck with the painting. Um, please don't see me go in here. Oh, God, it's all gonna end horribly. Ow! Okay, let's do that again, but completely differently where we're not tased. So steal all their brand new routers that they just spent some money on because I just looted this place. So uh, do I want a tea box? No, probably not. I will take the wine though, that's fine. My backpack is almost full and we're not going to push. Oh, where was that cash? They had some money kicking around here. There it was. Okay, good to know they left their money in exactly the same place. Thank you very much. I am going to take a stab at this painting again, though. I want to see what Autumn will give for me. Uh, so I want to, um, oh, I think I needed to open the door first. All right, put the painting down. Put put the painting down. There we go. Open the door. Get the painting. Is anyone in the area? No, it doesn't look like it. Carry that and just sort of um, doodly doo doo doo. I'm going to just sort of meander this way back to my car. I am not a thief. I am a um, art restorer. Yeah, I'm restoring this for whomever it was that lived there that are very, very good friends of mine because I have their front door key. Uh, uh, somebody is perhaps seeing me um, doing doing the thing. Okay, you know what? Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Just get out. Just go. Go. Get, get in your car. Leave. Just take the bottles of wine. Apparently, art thievery is not working out. Let's go. Let's go here. Come on. Bye. Bye. Oh, God. Oh, my God. They've rammed my car. Maybe I was slightly wrong about the thieving thing working out for us. Um, I think the thieving thing is broadly good in the underground toaster and router market. However, art theft does not seem to be going over very well around here. So one more time with feeling, let's just grab tiny things and get the heck out of here. No, I'm sorry, I just couldn't help myself. I went for the painting again. I, I feel I want a career in art thievery. Now, I just have to make it down to the car without somebody spotting me. There are annoyingly large amounts of people out in broad daylight, which seems excessive. Surely you people have jobs to go to. Okay, there's a guy. Oh, God, I've already been detected. All right, get rid of the painting again. I'm just never going to get that darn painting. All right, am I still detected? Hang on, hang on. Okay. Okay. Right. I'm not doing anything wrong right now. I'm just opening my trunk. That's all I'm doing. I'm possibly going to go back up into the area where somebody, I don't know who, somebody left a painting. They're just lying on the ground here. 
I'm not in anyone's house. I'm not breaking in anywhere. There's just a painting. Seems to be that maybe somebody put it in the trash. I don't know. I'm just going to grab it and walk slowly to my car. I'm not doing anything wrong here. Yep, nothing to see here. I'm not a thief. I'm just picking up somebody else's trash that they uh, annoyingly left on the ground there. Oh, now there we go. We've got a rank of S, which I was told in the comments section is sort of like A++++ or something. Apparently this is a grade that is given out in places like Japan or something like that. More um, Asian communities might get a grade of S, which is above A. So I was really sad when I got an S because um, S is like really, really low in the alphabet. And, you know, moving from A to F, I thought S might be dismal. But no, no, S is like super A. It's S for super. So we did awesome on that. Look at that stealth bonus. Thief rating 165, all that XP, and we got out of there with the painting, and I only had to get tased twice and my car rammed. I think we got an immediate level up from that. That was a ton of XP for that, but let's see if I can flog any of this stuff off on Black Bay here. Now, sadly, nobody on Black Bay wants that painting. That's fine. I'll, I'll take that to the pawn shop. Wow, the candle holder. 240 for candle holder, 280 for a candle holder. I gotta focus on those. What I should probably do if I were actually playing this game seriously is go to Black Bay first and figure out what people want and then go stealing. Yeah, see, that microwave would have been 180 if I could have got a hold of that, but I would have had to have sacrificed the painting and I'm not into that. Uh, no, 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 no. Can't flog a damn thing off on Black Bay. All right, well, off to the pawn shop then. Now, I want you to know, Mr. Pawn Shop Guy, I didn't actually steal this painting. I picked it up off the ground. This is not even hot, as the kids say these days. Yeah, I want to sell that. Are you interested in that? Please say yes. Yeah, you'll, you'll take it. 40 bucks? You know how many times I got tased for this painting? All right, yeah, sell it. That's fine. Uh, sell all of this, actually. I can't get it off on Black Bay, so I may as well just sell everything here. Yeah, those routers are a quick good one, too. And I got the third time I was in there, or fourth time, I don't know. I grabbed this phone as well, so sell all of that, sell all of that. That's good. That brings me up to 1416, which is huh, enough for the $1,200 gloves that we need for Vinny. And before I buy the gloves, I was just having a quick peek at the Joneses on Steal Your Forums. All right, I have 1416. The gloves are 1200 uh, Remind me. $1,200 for those gloves. All right, what could I know about the Jones for 216 bucks? I could know their routines or... I could know loot locations and security tips. I'd kind of like the security tips. But I'd also kind of like the routines, truth be told. That would save me a lot of time. Uh, okay, what are their routines? There's only one person there between 8 a.m. and 7 p.m. All right, well, when are they both not there? Oh, well, I'll probably find out when I get there. Okay, let's buy ridiculously expensive climbing gloves. Yeah, oh, oh, you're sold out. Yeah, those are a really hot item, I'm sure. Yeah, everybody wants to pay 1200 bucks for a pair of gloves. Okay, back to 104. Let's see if we can finally climb this wall now that we have the world's best gloves. Okay, let's just kind of scout the place out right now and see if we can get a little clearer idea of what those tenant routines are. There's one person down there. Okay, so it looks like... Yeah, there's going to be somebody home basically all the time. Basically all the time. And they're going to be in the kitchen. Okay, well, the kitchen kind of works for me. I can't just open the garage, right? No, I can't. Obviously, this being kind of tutorially ninja-esque, I'm going to have to climb the thing. All right. Um, hmm, how do I want to go about this? Well, let's just at least play with our new gloves. I mean, that seems sensible. Yeah, we can get right up here. How about if we crouchy crouched? Yup, you're kind of poking around. Maybe you heard me climbing. That's okay. That's fine. I just want to get into your garage and apparently smash your window. It's not going to stop me from stealing your radio. And, oh, that's just a bit of the table. I thought that was somebody's wallet. 
Right, can I get in here? Nope, I've encountered another flaw in Vinny's delicately put together plan here, which is I don't have another lock pick to get in here. Hmm. I need an alternate method of entry. Back down here. And what else could we do around this neck of the woods? Now, this is going to put me right in this person's path. That's lock picking level two. Can I not just get over the fence? I've got super gloves. Surely I can just jump over the fence. That seems to be really, really obvious. But, oh, oh I'm, I'm trapped on a rock. I'm, I'm trapped on a rock. Now, Vinny, I'm kind of stuck here unless I can go make some money to buy another lockpick because I blew all my cash on these super gloves that do not enable me to hop over a very, very short fence. But okay, well, while I'm in the neighborhood, let's, let's steal some things. And if we need to steal something, you know who that's going to be. It's the Powells again. Our favorite folks who left us the key to their front door. Hi, not doing anything suspicious. You know when those alarm company advertisements say somebody is the victim of a robbery every 11 seconds? It's these guys. It's the Powells. They are, in fact, the victim of a robbery every 11 seconds because, um, me, basically. I also, um, was smart enough to pop my trunk open on my way here, so if they've got any more art they might want to give up, that'd be great. Now, we know that that microwave is going to be pretty tasty on Black Bay, so let me just see if there's any other little doohickeys I might- Oh, they've, they've bought more routers. Sucks to be the bowels. Yeah, you guys should stop with the Wi-Fi. Uh, maybe just get yourself hardwired in. Can I steal anything from their children? That, that would make them very, very sad. Even more sad than the router issue. Oh, I can steal baptism. Okay, well, you know what? We know the microwave is going to be really, really good. So let's, yeah, put that in the bag. Okay, I can just take that. That's good. Um, how soon till they come home? Oh, I got all the time in the world. I, oh, 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 trespassing. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. It's fine. It's just fine. Just fine. Just take your little exclamation mark somewhere else, Sparky. Oh, a pot. That's going to be good. I think that's my inventory kind of done. So is there anything big I want to grab? Like, I don't know, that TV. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Somebody's seen me. Somebody's seen me. It's fine. It's all fine. Everything's fine. I got ages till the Powells get back. And boy, are they going to be sad. Honey, every single day we are burglarized. Why did we give out so many keys to our front door? Why did we do that? We're burglarized daily. Well, I'm a little stuck here because this guy keeps seeing me. And the Powells are going to be back, like, wicked soon. All right, he's stopped seeing me. I'm going to make a stab at the TV and see if I can get out of this neighborhood without getting tased again. But the thing is, he's, like, sort of right there. I think I can kind of navigate around him because my car's right around the corner. Sorry, Powells! Uh, P.S. Please don't buy another router. It's not going to end well. Now, once again, I was sort of spotted, so I've just kind of put the TV on the ground. Nothing to see here. Yeah, you just drive on by there, Sparky. Nothing to see. I certainly don't have a television in my hands. I'm just, um, you know what? I was caught a little short, and I just had to run over to this tree here. It happens to everyone, man. It happens to everyone. The Powells are home. They're probably really, really sad about the router thing. Uh, where, where'd I put the TV? There it is. Okay. Um, so there's somebody coming up behind me, but I think I can get down here. Now, see, there's another guy right over there, though. Right over there. We might just kind of have to um, get the TV here in stages. No, I'm not doing anything shady. Nothing shady. I just threw that TV on the ground. It's fine. I, I saw it here by this tree. I was just inspecting it. And now I'm uh, taking it, and now I'm kind of putting it in my car. This is all very, very normal, normal things that happen in a neighborhood. Oh, another score of super. I'm super thief. This is great. I like this thieving thing. This is okay. The tasing isn't so good, but boy, the Powells are a bunch of dummies just handing out keys to their front door. And I think we leveled up somewhere in all of that, too.
Yeah, that flower vase, somebody still wants that on black base, so let's get rid of that. Anything else? How about art? No, car parts, we didn't steal any of those. Yeah, there's that microwave, 180 bucks. I can finally buy my lock pick. Uh, Yamaha guitar, no, and antiques. Okay, how much was the lock pick? It's only 70, all right, only 70. Right, but I've got 216. Buy one of those, thank you very much. Should I buy another one? I don't know. I'm just gonna go over to the pawn shop and um, you know, sell the rest of this stuff, including that television. And I'm just noticing now I've I've got a box in my passenger seat. What do I keep in that? I can't open this door. What do I keep in this box? Is it gloves? Because that probably would have saved a lot of time. Okay. Uh, this again, this is not... Oh, I didn't open his door. Hang on, hang on. Let me put this back. This is this is a two-man job. I need an apprentice thief. Okay, I'm just letting you know, Pawn Shop, dude. I'm not sure if that TV works. I threw it on the ground, like, several times. I'm not sure if it's actually functional, but you seem like you'll buy literally anything. Yeah, 120 bucks for that. 120 bucks. And the radio and the... Oh, sorry, pals. The routers again and this pot. I'm selling you all of that, thank you very much. And that brings me up to $379. I think now I'm finally equipped to go smash something. Finny, why are we smashing things? The Powells alone are a steady source of income in this game. I can just keep ripping off the Powells forever. But after starting with the quest to break a window, will also end with still having the quest to break a window. But before we do that, I do think we have a level up to deal with. Yeah, I've got one skill point. What does this give me? Carry big items faster. That would be handy with the pals. I'd actually really rather just have backpack level too. 25% more space. That's just more stuff stolen. So um, backpack level one. Now why? Level two, one skill point. Yeah. I have one skill point remaining. Why are you not letting me purchase this? Oh, required level nine. Oh, oh, okay, I'm not high enough level. Okay, sensible. Uh, what can I get here? Lockpick level three, I could learn. Mini electronic lockpick, God knows how much that's gonna be. How about the, uh, the appraisal? Appraise more items on the spot. Do I want to do that? I don't think I do. Yeah, and the rest of these are level nine. I guess I'll take lockpicking level 3. I've got nothing else to spend the points on at this point, so by the time I get to level 9, I'll have more points. Okay, I know how to do electronic locks now. Excellent. I think that is a fantastic place to leave it on Thief Simulator for today. I was going to try a new job out in the simulator job hunting series, but I want to do one more of Thief Simulator. I just want to go smash these windows. Now that I've taken an entire episode stealing from one family to get the gear to do it, I just want to do that one quest. I want to break the car window, break in there, and see how that works out, and hopefully not get tased a bunch of times. And chances are we'll probably steal from the bowels again, but we'll do one more Thief Simulator and see how we feel about it after that. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that if you're new to the channel maybe just checking it out for the first time feel free to hit that subscribe button see more of this ridiculous nonsense until then i'm dave thank you as always for joining me in the wee hours and we'll see you next time we embrace all religions here in tropico so long as the practitioners of that religion remember that we have a crocodile farm over here and that the fence is not crocodile proof